Do you have a client or two that's an absolute pain in the backside to work with? Maybe there's someone that you've worked with for a long time, they're a legacy client that probably isn't even paying you the same amount of money as your current clients. Maybe they're just a client that always asks for that little bit too much or they're always last minute or they mess you about or <clears throat> they just take up too much of your time and steal your energy. I honestly think that every business has at least one client who they know in their heart of hearts they should not be working with. They know that it's time to part company or to rebalance the relationship, let's just say. But knowing that and doing that can be two really very different things. Recognising that uh, the relationship with a client just isn't quite in the right balance or that a client is just too demanding or is just a pain to work with, that's the easy bit. But changing that situation, moving on past it, improving things so that you are happy and they are happy is much harder to do. So that is exactly what I am going to share with you today. I have two huge tips on exactly how to handle your worst clients so that you can make them someone who is much, much better to deal with. So really, there are two key things you want to think about here. The first option you've got is really very straightforward. It's ditch the client, sack the client. If there's somebody who constantly quibbles about your invoices, if they regularly pay late, if they just completely undermine your confidence or really don't value what you do, do you actually want to adjust this relationship or do you recognise that you really just want to move on past this client? One of the key things to bear in mind here is you're not the only person, you're not the only business who does what you do. If you let a client go, they will go and find somebody else who can help them. They might have to pay more and then they'll actually appreciate the pittance that they paid you. Um, they might go to somewhere else that is just a better fit for them. You don't have to be the saviour. You don't have to be the hero for every one of your clients. You have to protect your business as much as you have to support your clients. So in some cases, it might just be a case of going back to a client and just saying, we've changed the way we work or we've changed the services we offer or there is some other reason why, as of such and such a date, we won't be able to work with you anymore. We're so sad to see this happen, blah, 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 blah. You might even recommend somebody else for them to go and work with if you know somebody else locally who you trust. That's always an option. So option one, ditch the client, sack them. Just recognise that you need to rip off the plaster and move on by. Option two, if you actually think this is a redeemable client, that they're not rude and nasty and that they're not just, um, you know, totally taking advantage of you, that they are someone you'd like to keep working with, but things just need to change. Then you need to look to re-educate the client. So that might just be a case of going back to them and, and reiterating your boundaries. That could be as simple as the boundaries in terms of which times you are available and which times you are not available. So they stop messaging you 24-7. You might tell them, you might remind them how much of your time they're actually paying for within their contract. Uh, you might remind them what's actually in the contract and where they should be paying more for additional services. So just by going back, clarifying the boundaries, you can kind of draw a line under where you are now and you can lay the ground rules for a slightly different way moving forwards. In many cases, crappy clients can actually be re-educated and improved and they can become a really decent solid client. So perhaps you need to reset your boundaries with them. Perhaps you need to go back and talk to them with some clarity about your prices. Make it 100% clear what is included in the price that they're paying for you. Make it clear what you have been doing for them that is not included in that price and tell them how much that's going to cost them going forwards. Some people will decide they're not willing to pay and they'll go elsewhere, saves you the job of sacking them. Other people will suddenly realise they've been a pain in the backside and they will redeem themselves and behave properly from then on. You might also need to remind them of your payment terms. If they're constantly drifting late, 
you can quite easily go back to them and you can just simply say, you know, we have a number of clients who are drifting late with their payments at the moment. It's making it hard to manage our cash flow. So we just want to reiterate things to everybody. Here's a reminder of what our payment terms are. You know, if it's a case of that they're supposed to pay up front every month, just remind them of that. So this doesn't have to be a confrontational thing. It's a very factual statement of just reminding you of our terms. Here's what they are. Um, and the other thing you might have to re-educate them on is timelines or timeliness. If there's somebody who is always last minute or if they change appointments with you all the time, um, if there's somebody who uh, never gets things to you on time, all of those things that have a knock on effect. And sometimes those are things that not only make it hard to work with them, but they might lead to you messing about other fabulous but quiet and peaceful clients. So you, again, you might need to just re-educate them. So two options with your dodgy clients, ditch them or re-educate them. And if you go down the route of re-educating them and they're still a pain in the backside client, then you know it's time to ditch them. If this is something you need help with, this is one of my favourite areas to help. Just have a look at my website, tailory.co.uk and get in touch through there. <laughs>